The top story, the Congress backing Law Minister Ashwini Kumar after the CBI told the Supreme Court that coal allocation probe draft report had indeed been shown to him. The CBI affidavit admitted that the draft status report was shown to the law minister as desired by him. It was also shared with a joint secretary each in the PMO and in the coal ministry. But the Congress says there's no question of Ashwini Kumar resigning. Following a meeting with allies, the Congress said it will wait till the Supreme Court hearing on the 30th of this month before taking a decision. The Congress also said just the draft report was shown to the law minister and not the final status. CNN and IBN had reported on the 22nd of April about the CBI sharing its report with the law minister. So what's been happening since the time that this affidavit was filed was that uh, the Congress's core group met and it backed the law minister. We have details of what happened at that meeting. Here's the inside story. The CBI affidavit was discussed threadbare at that core group meet that was attended by some allies as well. Ashwini Kumar told the core group that his job was to look at legal options and legal points in that draft that he had not done nothing wrong. The allies who were present in that meeting including Sharad Pawar and Ajit Singh supported uh, uh, the Prime Minister, the ally said that the PM would be the next target since the affidavit said the draft was also shown to the Joint Secretary in the PMO. The affidavit also says the final status report was not shared with any government officials. Meanwhile, Sonia Gandhi, it's learnt, is against the law minister's resignation and she said that the opposition demands need not be taken seriously because they make such demands almost daily. Now we have already filed it in the Supreme Court and now it is in the public domain. I don't have to say anything more about that. Narayan Sami. What did you say about the Narayan Sami? What did you say about our minister? What did you say about him? There is no stop. I don't have to say anything about him. I stay together with him. And this is the work of the day. There is no stop. Were any changes made in that way after the law minister saw it? I will disclose everything before the Honorable Apex Court and uh, before uh, telling them I don't want to share it with the general public. The status report was shared with the law minister, with joint secretaries in the prime minister's office as well as in the coal ministry. The affidavit does not disclose what are the changes that were made in the draft which was taken by the CBI at the behest and at the intervention of the law minister, of the officers of the prime minister's office and the coal ministry. If the CBI director has to seek the permission or the advice of these persons in the government even to decide what kind of affidavit he is to file, then what kind of independent investigation can we expect in this matter from the CBI? It is a confirmation of our apprehension that attempts are being made to frustrate a fair investigation in the coal gate for the simple reason that when the scam took place, the Prime Minister was also the holding the coal ministry. The BJP demands that the nation is entitled to know as to what was the affidavit initially prepared and what was the vetting done by the PM and the law ministry as far as investigation is concerned. Buck stops with whom now? Does it stop at the law minister or it stops at the prime minister's door? In this case, the buck stops with the prime minister as the head of the government and also as the coal minister when the big scam took place. They should step down? We have demanded that already and that is the issue of log jam. The matter is listed on the 30th of April and invariably and usually when a matter is sub judice in court, we do not unnecessarily react to it if at all it is not required. The people of this country need to seriously ponder and really need to introspect as to whether uh, the irresponsibility of the opposition can be allowed to go to an extent whereby the entire politics of this country becomes obstructionist. And Law Minister Ashwini Kumar has told CNN IBN's Pallavi Ghosh and I quote, Truth will prevail. I have done nothing wrong, he says. Let's in fact speak with Pallavi Ghosh for more. Uh, Pallavi, the law minister at the moment ruling out his resignation, which seems he has support not just from the Congress President Sonia Gandhi, but also backing him are the allies.
Absolutely. In fact, that's interesting. Uh, you know, it, is, it could have been a normal core group meeting, but the Congress party caught on a back foot, decided to also consult its allies. And going by Congress's track record, it's a rarity. But all the allies over there, the word coming out of the core group meeting was very simple. They were very alarmed by the fact that even the Joint Secretary, PMO's uh, presence at that meeting with the CBI director was actually registered as far as the CBI affidavit is concerned. And that's exactly what got the Congress leadership worried. They are worried that if today, on the basis of what the affidavit had, if that's accepting resignation of Ashwini Kumar, then tomorrow certainly, by the same argument, the Prime Minister would also have to be stepping down. So that's one argument which was there in the core group meeting. Second, of course, they also pointed out at the affidavit also, when it says it was nothing was shared with the political executive. So that's a kind of a lifeline which the Congress chose to see and which was shared actually uh, by the uh, allies as well. Uh, so the word coming out of the core group meeting, reprieved for the law minister, certainly at least in the 30th, they're going to wait and watch what the Supreme Court really has to say. Pallavi, but uh, how does the government move forward from here on? Because the BJP is sort, certainly not going to let go of this matter. Uh, the parliament session is on and that finance bill needs to be passed before the session ends, I think, on the 10th of May. I think the Congress party and the government has resigned to the fact that the rest of the parliament session, of course, is going to be a washout. The immediate worry, of course, is to get in a general budget passed because that would be a constitutional crisis. And that's the reason why the parliamentary affairs minister met, Mr. L.K. Adwani. He's in touch with other opposition leaders. And I think uh, that should not be too much of a problem for the government. But any other bills like the land bill, food security bill, that seems extremely unlikely, almost ruled out.